Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a question that I posted up on the community tab, the brand new community tab, thanks to everybody that subscribed. So if you want to, you can go up there, check out the polls that I put up, and ask questions and comment on them. But if you still want to comment and ask your questions in the comment sections of the video, please continue to do so. But the question that I posted was, should you use animation templates? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into this topic. Okay, so the answer that I have to this question is yes, this is animation. You wanna take every time saving tool in your bag and put it into play. Every single one. I wanna be fully transparent with you guys. Look, I have a running template that I created uh, probably a couple months ago. And this did not come off of memory. This did not come off of a study or anything like this. This is this came off of me creating a just a basic shape outline of a character that I enjoyed watching in an anime. This comes from a One Piece character. We all know Luffy. This came from that animation. Now I can create a completely different character just by using this template for reference, right? And I think that in animation and in drawing, we have a issue with trying to do everything the hardest way possible. So you can say everything is 100% you. Nothing will be 100% from you. You have to use reference. Even the top animators use reference, okay? There's only a small chosen few that can do everything off of memory and that's because they use reference for so many years. So let's talk more about how to go about utilizing your animation templates. Okay, so animation templates should be used for things that are kind of, I want to say static, but not static. They're more like loops. So running is easy for a um, animation template. So you can create anything over the top of that. Also something like this falling. If your character falls a certain type of way down a hill or something like that, you can always create a animation template in that type, that specific character. You can always use that type of fall. Um, jumping, if you see in this type of animation, these two animations, these two characters jump the same way because they're robots. Like these types of things that, you, that can be used over and over again because now it's that character style or that robot style of jumping or running these can be reused over and over again. Obviously, there are things like um, uh, maybe certain people singing or, you know, these dynamic scenes that can't be used as a template over and over again. You can probably use a part of them as a reference, but templates are something that can be used over and over again. So I wanna make sure that, you, that everybody understands it's very important. You can customize them how you would like to, but the, the most important thing is, it's something that can be used over and over again. Who wants to put in all of that work and then can't use it again, all right? And it's not about um, embedding your character's image onto the template. You want the template to be clean. And I'll show you guys how to make an animation template in another video, just not in this one, because it'll get too long. So I hope that clears up some misinformation out there about using animation templates. If you never even heard of animation templates, I'm glad to have introduced you into them and um, please start using them. Other than that, that's enough for this video. If you learned something, please share it with a friend. And as always, anime life forever. I'm